Morning, guys. You shitty have it. Morning, guys. It's on my way to work on a Friday morning. Um, I'm just uh, recording this while I'm obviously driving. But just got off the chat group with the boys from Oz. My mates are all from Sydney. That fucking thing goes off non-stop while I'm asleep. But I woke up to one of my boys saying uh, he's in the uh, real estate industry back home and he's got a new little intern or apprentice or whatever the fuck you call it. Um, and he was saying that, and mind you, my boy's been in the industry for 13 years back home, right? So basically left high school and and went down that path and he's quite successful at what he does and whatnot. But saying that, you know, young blokes come aboard the team um, and basically, in a nutshell, not, well, wanting everything given to him and not willing to work for anything and, and, and you know, coming in with the big boy pants on but really should be wearing diapers, if that makes sense, you know? And I was saying to him just before I left the house, I was saying, mate, you know, this is the same thing a lot of us older heads face here in the industry and um, you know I was saying I was touching on that you know you can't get off the plane and I'll take it back to the fitness industry you can't get off the plane and uh, you know with a good body a cute face and think that's enough to to take over the industry or kill it in the industry you know and I mean and, mate 10 years ago I was exactly the same um, I had that mentality as I was going to do big things in the fitness industry and I was going to kill it and I was going to be the, the next fucking big thing and you, you, you quickly learn that, you know, whatever you've done in your past doesn't mean shit um, and it's what about, it's, it's, it's what you do going forward. Um, now I'll see it all the time, I guess, after 10 years and wising out a lot and you know growing up a lot um you know young young blokes in this industry and girls um you know because of the social media aspect instagram and facebook and whatnot um you know think that's enough to build or enough to have a profile in this city and and you know let me put it straight is that time effort you know, sleepless bloody nights, wondering where your next fucking theorem's gonna come from because, you know, you don't have clients or you're struggling to get clients and, you know, this is what makes somebody's end profile and, and success at the end, end of the day, you know? And if you're trying to build your own business or build your own profile um, using yourself as the major, you know, business intake is that, well, you know, a, you got to do more than take awesome photos and put them on Instagram. You know, we live in a a day of technology now, so you know, you can make anyone look good, including myself. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, all I'm going to give the advice, and I'm only giving it after you know ten years, and and I'm still learning. Um, but you know, putting in the hard yards, um, building a network, um, having people trust in what you do and not I guess don't be afraid to show the failures too not everyone succeeds not everyone comes out of the gate hot you know what I mean you, you fucking you build a profile and you learn along the way and, and this what this is what makes I believe successful people because not everybody's born successful not everybody's given everything on a silver plate people have to also work for it so you know I guess you know going back to my mates you know subject that that you know these young kids are coming in and going yeah we deserve it all and and you know we're at that age that you know we know it all you don't know shit and you know I'm only in my mid-30s but fuck I've had to grow up in the last 10 years being here and I've made a lot of mistakes and you know, you learn from them, and if you don't learn from them, you're fucking stupid. But at the same time, is that you have to keep grinding, you have to keep 
fucking waking up when you don't want to wake up and even if you don't have work, make it out as if you're busy. You know, that's what you do. This is this is what, you know, they, they use the word hustler. You know, I'm not American, but fucking, I know what it is to fucking put in a good fucking slog, you know. 10 hour days, yeah, sure, not all of them are fucking back to back with clients, but you know, you're sitting on your computer, you're, 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 you're trying to find other means of income because, you know, training sometimes just won't uh, do it for you. So until you get to that level and, and, and you know, you're now able to pick the hours that you work and, you know, you still got to, you know, everyone, we got to, I got to still go to, go to work on a Friday at fucking six o'clock because I got to pay rent, I've got to eat, you know, but, you know, don't, don't be bought into all the, the bullshit and the lies online that everyone is successful, you know what I mean? It's not the fucking way, but, you know, you can get there with a, with a, you know, you put in the hard day's work and your know, honest hours and, 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 and you know, that's how you do it. You learn. So whatever industry you're in, do your time. I'll tell you what, when I was back in Australia and I was working on, on construction sites, if I ever, ever said no or talked back or, you know, didn't take the hours on offer or, you know, didn't do what I was told, you'd be fucking booted in the ass and you, you were gone, you know, and that's where... You know, these, these young blokes and, and young girls have to learn is that doing your time is the most important thing. And that's how you build character and that's how you build experience. Because uh, you can read all the books you want and you can, and, you know, pretend just because you got flash clothes on and, and you, you party at the biggest clubs on the weekend, you really don't know shit until life throws you in that hole and you can only look up and it's dark. So, you know. Once you hit rock bottom, you'll know that Instagram posts and Facebook likes and all this shit don't matter. Um, but anyway, that was just my little 6 a.m. rant on the way to the gym. Have a good weekend, people! And uh, don't stop working hard until you get it. Laters!